Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So today I've got another guest on the channel. I've got uh, Luke here from Zinc to talk about uh, what they're working on uh, in the hiring and job space. Uh, they're gonna talk about Zinc, which is a, a DAP that they've built uh, to help solve this problem. So welcome to the channel, Luke. You wanna kinda just give us uh, an elevator pitch for what you're working on at Zinc? Yeah, sure. Hey, Greg. Um, so Zinc is a, um, Transparent and authenticated work based reputation, reputation and identity system. So, we use peer to peer proofs to attach um, different claims to people's work identities and package in a way that um, recruiters can use some of these tools in the hiring journey to go about hiring in a bit more of an efficient way to, to save some, some time and money, hopefully. Yeah, very cool. So I'm excited to uh, kind of get a demo of this today and see how you guys are, you know, doing this in a kind of trustless and decentralized and peer-to-peer -peer way. Um, so you want to kind of give us a walkthrough of how this works? Yeah, yeah, sure. So um, I'll show you what a um, uh, example profile uh, would look like if you've uh, collected a few proofs, collected a few references. Uh -huh. this, is, um, this is just a, a demo. Uh, you can see that this user has um, proofed their career history by collecting some peer proofs from ex-colleagues. Nice. So it's just kind of like LinkedIn where you can see your resume and then you can like see other people are vouching for you. Like, and, and all that data is written to the blockchain, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, um, each proof is uh, recorded on the blockchain. You can you can see the provenance of that information by collect sorry clicking on this uh, square icon here, which takes you to the transaction link, which will uh, show that it's a it's a zinc based uh, transaction verification. Nice. And um, you can see the social account, which is. Um, connected to the uh, account which has provided this information. So there's a bit of uh, web two based uh, verification in uh -huh. connecting social accounts. And um, there's kind of two main tools right now. There's the, the referencing tool. So you can request that your um, ex managers or ex, ex peers or current peers um, provide uh, proof of your your skills and they'll, they'll come up in your validated skills section here or um, provide a bit more information about the types of environment that you, you might um, work well in. And uh, also there's a more general purpose work proofing tool to um, collect proofs of courses or open source work or workshops that you've attended, um, which appear on your profile in this kind of format here. Okay. So basically like this is a page, like if I were a developer or any, anybody really, uh, and I wanted to, you know, show someone a profile that had information that was valued in the blockchain, I basically show them this. This is a history of, you know, past jobs that I've had and skills that I've used at those jobs or workshops that I've been to and education that I've acquired. And you're able to actually get verification from other people that you have those skills and you have worked those jobs. And this is what people like thought of you there um, and we're able to kind of see that those people vouch for you and you're able to kind of verify their identity on the blockchain but also like combine that with social proof that these people like are on LinkedIn or on another maybe service and uh, that they're real people too right yeah exactly exactly very cool so how, so show us what this looks like show us how we would set this up and uh, you know make this happen Sure. So I'll um, just go through the process of logging in and collecting a reference. Um, I've, I've just, just created this account. So you have to, first time around creating an account, you have to verify your email address uh -huh. um, to sign up. But I've done that just prior to this call. So uh, yeah. I'll just sign in to this new account that I've created by 
signing a, a message with MetaMask. You, you can use it with other Web3 um, desktop browser-based Web3 providers. And um, the, the keys which are signing that message will be associated with um, this Zinc account. And those keys will be in control of an ENS subdomain, which is created when you sign up. And that will be um, pointing to an identity contract, which um, is essentially holding the claims um, that you collect uh, from Zinc. So uh, you have control over um, what information is associated with you on, uh, on the network. Okay. Yeah. Very cool. So what would it look like for somebody to, you know, ask for a reference from somebody? Like if I wanted to say, you know, Hey, like, like say, I want to, I want to say something about myself, like approve something. And then I can ask someone else to, you know, vouch for that, approve that. What would that look like? Sure. So um, it's kind of a, a one step process for the, uh, the individual that's requesting the information The simply complete this form. And um, that then sends a request off via email to the person that they're requesting to, to prove that information. And uh -huh. then it'll simply appear on your profile. Okay. So, and that's what that, that is back there in the, uh, uh, yeah, that's, that's the example right there? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So this is one that I've just um, collected. I've asked um, Luke to verify my last role at Rablox. And um, that's appeared on my, my profile here. And he's validated me for JavaScript utility and work QGS. Very cool. When we were working together and um, just collects the other uh, information that they provide in a kind of conversational format, like a peer review style um, piece of information. Right. So that sounds, that's a big deal. You know, it seems like, uh, You've seen other sites, right? Like that kind of try to, uh, you know, people can make claims about themselves, right? About the skills they possess. But this allows you to uh, have, you know, a third, you know, another party actually verify that, which I'm sure is, is hugely beneficial when you're trying to hire. Yeah, yeah, that that's the theory. There's no, there's no um, uh, way to kind of create your own uh, template of your your work history at the moment. It's all. All the information that's collected is um, via peer proof, right. um, and if you're if you're recruiting, then you you initiate uh, uh, references from this recruit tab here, which is an extra step. You simply um, pop in the, the candidate's email that you want to reference and get some information about, and then hit verify or well, request reference. And okay, that, goes, that collects the information, and it will appear in your dashboard here. Okay, so that's like from a recruiter's perspective what they would use. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, very cool. cool. Um, so what else uh, would you like for us to see about this project, Luke? Um, so we have, uh, uh, there's, there's two main tools. There's the, uh, the referencing tool, which uh, kind of verifies your, your formal um, work dates from, from positions. And there's also the, uh, the, the work proofing tool, which is more of a general purpose um, tool to prove information outside of your day-to-day um, -day job, typically. Um, I could uh, show you uh, what your contract looks like. This is your account page, uh, just with your basic uh, information associated to your account. You can choose your profile to be um, public or private it's not a it's not a social platform it's uh it's really a, a validation of uh, skills and work-based information platform right, right now so um it's quite privacy focused and we do um, respect people's privacy you can choose for your whether to be um entirely private or just certain pieces of information certain um bits of information to be visible in the kind of uh, self-sovereign identity um, ideology that sure. you are in complete control of your data and what data is visible, and um, you can see the uh, the um, identity contract which is um, deployed to the network that um, the keys that the account user is associated with, and okay. then you can interact with that contract 
how to remove claims or how to remove keys or add different privileges to, to keys associated with that, that contract. You could technically go to another DAP and um, add claims from another platform um, onto this uh, contract, which is on the main network and, and use that as your general purpose identity contract. You simply um, just add work-based claims to the, the contract from Zinc. Very cool. Well, that's awesome. That's, uh, that's a great um, kind of explanation and overview of what you can do so far. So what else have you got exciting on the roadmap for this project? So we're kind of in the eve of our, our public launch. We're just about to go live. We, we've um, recently moved to, to mainnet in the, in the past couple of weeks. Um, and we're going live with a, a public launch um, just next week. So we're, we're looking for people to um, check out the platform, try it out, and they're looking for feedback. Um, you don't have to have ETH to sign up. You just simply um, sign a transaction and your account is uh, funded with some tokens to try it out and collect some information and uh, see what you think of it. Actually. Yeah, very cool. So we can find the project at zinc.work. Is there anywhere else that we can uh, keep up with you all, like social you know, uh, outlets or media outlets or blogs, anything like that? Yeah, yeah, we're, we're very active on Medium. That's probably the, the most active social platform uh, we're on. You can find our, our social links on, on the bottom, bottom of our zinc.work site here. Our Medium is um, medium.com forward slash zinc underscore work. Um, fairly active on Twitter, again, Zinc underscore work, and a little bit active on, on Telegram too, Zinc underscore work, again. Awesome, very cool. Well, I've really enjoyed this overview of what you guys are working on at Zinc. It looks like a pretty cool dApp that you guys have built, and uh, a lot of cool features, a lot of cool innovation happening here. Uh, before we wrap it up today, uh, Luke, is there anything else that you'd like for the people watching to know? Uh, I, I don't think so. I think we've, uh, we've just covered most of it. So yeah, thanks very much for having me on, Greg. Appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, of course. Glad to do it. You guys have done a lot of great work here. I'm excited for everyone to uh, get a taste of what you all have done. Thanks very much. Yeah, very cool. All right, everybody. So make sure you check out uh, Zinc over at Zinc.work. And you can follow these guys on um, Medium, on Twitter. You can check out on Telegram as well. Um, again, uh, join me with a, a warm thank you to Luke for being on the channel today. Again, great work, Luke. Um, I'm going to sign us off for now. So until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.